the obviously the threat of high winds a factor in the planning for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with its big balloons. But really, organizers like the rest of us have little control over nature. So the show must go on. That's the mantra, or at least they have to plan for that to happen. They're getting ready for the balloon inflation tomorrow, despite predictions of high winds. And police are getting ready for tight security. I would assume reporter Josh Eider with that part of the story. He's live on the Upper West Side. Josh. Bill, here at the Museum of Natural History, it is ringed by hundreds, if not thousands, of metal barricades as far as the eye can see. It's a huge production, and here's why. Tonight, tomorrow, at this very time, 77th Street will be lined by the stars of Thursday's show, 16 giant balloons, which will take place right here under extraordinary security. Good. All night across the city, cops have been hard at work unloading bomb barriers and barricades. Good. By mid-morning, the Upper West Side will be a fortress as the big balloon blow-up begins ahead of the big show Thursday. Our job is to offer maximum protection against any, any type of incident at the parade, um, but it's also to make sure um, that we don't protect it to the point that it's not fun. The NYPD looks at this as just one in a series of high-profile events in just a few months, starting with the marathon and ending with the ball drop on New Year's Eve. While police say there are no specific threats against the city right now, like every year, security is enhanced. For instance, meet Frankie, one of four so-called explosive odor pursuit dogs the city's counter-terror chief discovered in Florida last year. I said, that's nice. Bring one of those dogs and a handle. Let's see if they can work in New York City. Because if you can make it in New York, uh, you can fi you can finish the rest. And they did. Not only can they catch a whiff of explosive on someone's clothes, like dogs already with the department, these new animals can do so at a much greater range, tracking a potential terrorist in a huge crowd. Speaking of crowds, the three and a half million parade spectators will be subject to bag searches and security screenings, and will all walk right past those dogs. The NYPD has a lot of practice securing Thanksgiving. For the police commissioner, there's no place he'd rather be. This is going to be a very safe place to be, so we encourage everybody, despite the uh, anticipated cold weather, to come down, uh, see the balloons, and, and have a great time. That's one of, the, one of the best days in New York City. And back live, these barricades, even more of them, will be laid out throughout the day tomorrow. Security, particularly around the museum with the balloon blow up, will be increasing throughout the day tomorrow. It'll be very tight with lots of street closures. By the way, as large a security event as this is every year for the NYPD, it has, of course, become routine, and there will be yet another one right around the corner.